Have you ever wondered what the future of computing might look like? It's a question that sparked the curiosity of scientists, engineers, and dreamers alike. Not so long ago, we marveled at the gargantuan machines of the mid-20th century, the first computers that filled entire rooms. We've come a long way since then, with our sleek and powerful laptops, our smartphones that fit in our pockets. The leap to quantum computing seemed like science fiction, but today it's a reality, pushing boundaries and redefining possibilities. But what if I told you the next breakthrough in computing technology might not be quantum at all? What if it's something completely unexpected, something mind-boggling? Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to dive into the world of liquid DNA computing. It's not just a concept, it's the future, and it's closer than you think. So, what exactly is liquid DNA computing and how does it work? Stay tuned to find out. Imagine if our computers were not made of silicon but of DNA. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's not. This is the exciting concept of liquid DNA computing. So, what's the big idea here? Well, liquid DNA computing involves using DNA molecules, yes, the very same stuff that makes up our genes, to store and process information. It's not too different from how our regular computers use binary code, but instead of ones and zeros, we're talking about the four nucleotides of DNA, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. The truly mind-boggling part, DNA can store massive amounts of information in a minuscule space. Picture this, a single gram of DNA can store nearly 215 petabytes of data, and it doesn't stop there. DNA can perform many calculations simultaneously, making it potentially far more powerful than even the most advanced quantum computers. But how exactly does liquid DNA computing work, and what are its key features? Liquid DNA computing is a fascinating and complex field, but there are a few key points that are crucial to understanding it. Firstly, liquid DNA computing works by using strands of DNA to store and process information. Yes, you heard that right. The very same DNA that serves as the blueprint of life is now being harnessed to revolutionize computing. Instead of relying on binary code, liquid DNA computing uses the four bases of DNA, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine, to represent data. This radically expands the amount of information that can be stored and processed. Secondly, this technology has the potential to perform multiple calculations simultaneously. Unlike traditional computers, which process data sequentially, DNA computers use the concept of parallel processing. By leveraging this, we can solve complex problems at a much quicker pace. This makes it a promising solution for solving complex mathematical problems and running intricate simulations. Another key point to consider is the energy efficiency of DNA computing. Traditional and quantum computers consume significant amounts of energy. But DNA computing could change that narrative. It operates at room temperature and doesn't require the energy-intensive cooling systems that are necessary for conventional and quantum computers. This could make it a more sustainable choice for our increasingly digital world. Lastly, let's talk about the potential of liquid DNA computing to revolutionize fields such as data storage and artificial intelligence. With its ability to store vast amounts of information in a tiny space, DNA computing could solve the problem of data storage in the age of big data. Furthermore, with its parallel processing capabilities, it could power the next generation of artificial intelligence enabling more complex and sophisticated AI systems. So, in the not-too-distant future, we could see computers that are not only smaller and more powerful than anything we have today, but also fundamentally different in how they work. The future of computing is not just about making things faster, it's about reimagining what a computer can be.